Hey everybody, I'm Chris McCall and this is a complete stranger. Hey stranger. Hey, how I'm are a stranger. you? This is a stranger. Never seen him in my whole life. Never. Never. Hey, I'm gonna ask Did you this... tell me your name was? My name is Chris McCall. Okay. Hey, I'm gonna ask this complete stranger a series of questions that I'm gonna let you guys listen in on. And because I think it's important that we hear this from somebody who is just a complete stranger. So I'm gonna start right now. Stranger. Yes. If I told you that I lost 36 pounds and that my, doc, my bl doctor took me off blood pressure medication and my antacid medicine, and I did this all within, let's say, less than 90 days, would you believe me? Uh, no, I don't think so. That sounds too good to be true. Hmm, interesting. Okay. If I told you that I did this, those things that I just described to you, all by mixing a pink drink, a little powder with some water, and then I drank it in the morning, and that was it, would you believe me? So was that pink drink the only thing that you drank all day, and so that's why you lost weight, because you were starving to death? Wrong. I still ate, but I made better choices, but I definitely still ate. Would you believe me? I, yeah, that sounds too good to be true. Okay, so you're basically saying there would have to be other factors? Absolutely. Okay, like? Eating healthy and exercising, or okay. Maybe reducing somebody, your calories. Okay. So somebody that doesn't like to exercise, that suddenly did, or... That would, would, would you believe me if I said that I did that? All because of a little pink drink? Yes. I'm thinking that's too good to be true. Okay. So, and again, all we're trying to do is I'm, I'm establishing a fact with this complete stranger that these are things that normal people can answer, and you can answer them for yourself whether you believe them or not. So I'm going to ask you another question. Okay? So far, I'm not believing you. I understand stranger. this. I understand this. Hey, by the way, are you married? Uh, yes. Ooh. Happily. You look kind of cute. Happily um, married. Here's, here's the next question I have for you. Very nice. That's very nice. Your husband has... This is my Vivo. He's probably pretty shy. That's very nice. He has one, too. If I told you that by helping other people uh, do the same exact thing, basically you introduce them to that little pink drink that I described, that they would compensate you for doing that, that they, would, they just simply need messengers, would you believe me? Um, so I would be having to sell this pink drink that's too good to be true? That's kind of the direction I'm going. But yeah, it's, I'm thinking that's too good to be true. Okay. And I'm not a salesperson. I understand that because obviously you're a stranger. I don't know that oh, until yeah, now. Oh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not a salesperson. Okay. Okay. So I'm suggesting, and I'm asking you this question now. So would you be interested in paying $34.95 to become a distributor of a product that people, wait, hear me out, that people were seeking out and there was an explosion of growth happening right now in front of you and I told you that you could go into business for yourself and that you could take advantage of the timing by joining us right now. And the compensation was insane. Matter of fact, if I told you that the company, after six months, bought us a brand new Lexus, would you believe me? <laughs> that all sounds way too good to be true. Unless I'm paying thirty-four ninety-five like a day or something, and that's how you're making a lot of money. So is it safe to say that you assume that there's like... Who's buying the Lexus? I, this is all. I'm saying the pink drink company. <laughs> Okay. The pink drink company is what I'm telling you. Okay. The pink drink that I'm describing Stranger, to you. Stranger, this little pink drink thingy magic with the Lexus and thirty four ninety five is definitely sounding way too good to be true. I'm just telling you. So if I seasoned on a little Hawaii free trip, you're not going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Ah, definitely. What? Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna tell me pink drink thirty four ninety five. You get way healthy, lose weight, come off medications because your doctor takes you off of them. And, oh, wait, you're going to be eating healthier and exercising, and they're going to buy you a Lexus, and they're going to send you to Hawaii free? I'm just saying, I'm asking you, is this something that you would believe? Well, I would love to believe this, stranger, but I am quite certain that this is all too good to be true. Okay, okay, okay. Now, here's one. Here's a kicker. If I told you that anybody could do it, would you believe me? And. Eh. Anybody okay. do what? Be too good? Tell everybody too good to be true things? Okay, well, yeah, maybe so. Okay, so what I'm saying is, though, so, but if everybody could do what I'm describing to you, would you rather work a grind? And I'm asking you now, uh, would you rather work really hard, get paid very little, or if I could show you how to strategically use a website that the company provides you, so you don't have to be techie, but you could use that website to generate income by introducing others to a product that would transform everybody's lives or most people's lives, like mine. Is that something that you'd be interested in, or is so that now something I you could do? I have to be techie and know about websites. You don't it's have too good to, be to be true. Pink Dream, Lexus, Hawaii. Nothing techie. Very simple. You just tell people to go there to get their own. Hmm. Sounds too good to be true. 
okay. I'm going to have to have parties and have people over to my house and sell them pink drinks. I can tell. What if I told you in order to do this, you didn't have to have parties? Sounds way too good to be true. Hey, do I you, don't like to give parties. Do you so, have a very big garage? I Pretty big. Three car. Are you assuming in this big garage that you have to stock inventory? Yes. Okay. Probably tons of pink drink that will take over my whole garage. We won't even... That Lexus you're talking about that I'm never going to get anyways because this is all too good to be true, I'm sure it would be out on the driveway because I'd have pink drink filling up my garage. What if I told you you didn't have any pink drink and there was no inventory, there was no parties, that all they did is order it from the company and the company sent it directly to them? Would that you believe me? That definitely sounds too good to be true. <sighs> What you just experienced is what we figured out is preventing people from coming on board with us. What you are assuming is it's too good to be true. We've trained ourselves that it's too good to be true. This definitely sounds too good to be true. I've got a stranger here, stranger. which is like you to me. You don't know me. So what you're assuming He's is probably going to try to give me some candy and get in a van in any second. Do you like candy? Oh, I do did you like see? Candy. I saw you hesitate, stranger. <laughs> I know it. I I saw you actually hesitate. Did you? See? I hope you guys got that because she goes. I, I do no. <laughs> no, she does not. You don't know, like, I'm a stranger. I know. Okay. okay, go ahead. So, what's happening is people that we're inviting to join us because see these scenarios that I that we just described and that I'm describing to you happen every day. People miss this opportunity because they assume it's too good to be true. And, and the reason I know is because I have talented people that work way too hard and make way too little and hate their job and they can't send it. And rather than be open-minded enough just, to, just for a second for me to let them in and say, let me show you this is real, they just bypass it. So I have Stranger City right here, sitting right next to me. The stranger. And she is. And we... You haven't even told me what this company is called. Pink Dream Company? It's, it's called... Plexus. Oh, Plexus. 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 Never heard of that. Oh, yeah. I've never heard of Plexus. Hey, I just realized something. What? You have on a Plexus t-shirt. <laughs> I don't You've Somebody never heard of the company? Me. I don't know. I found okay. it. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, what I, here's, here's what I'm suggesting to you. Because people like you, and there's people that have asked you Real to watch... Really, stranger? Oh. Have a lot of people heard of Plexus, do you suppose? No. How do you know that? Because I ask people every day. Okay. And, and we have people on our on our team. See, we've built this team of people that are all over the country. We actually convinced, believe it or not, we were able to say, hey, please take a serious look at this because this is really happening. And you always hear about the opportunity of lifetime and all these things. And, and I'm telling you, this is happening. And so we want to invite you. We want to invite you to join us. Uh, this is happening right now. Strangers such as yourself assume Based upon, they're just simply uninformed. They, they that this all sounds too good, too to, good be to be true. Too good to be true. And so we you all know, of a sudden. your mom always said, if it sounds too, too good, good to, to be, be true, true, it must be too good to be true. And so that's what, as we were sitting here, we were talking about it, I thought, oh, people think it's too good to be true. So that's why they're doing it. They've been trained to say, nope, can't Are you be. you telling me it's not too good to be true? Oh, no, 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 no. Everything I just described to you is a fact. I'm starting to like you, stranger. Ooh. Maybe I, I'm not married, stranger. Oh, oh my gosh! I think I've just, I've just started. I, I, I'm about to go introduce my pyramid thing, non-pyramid thing. <laughs> oh, maybe we should go walk on the beach, and you can tell me more about this pyramid schemey thingy. This is awesome because I get to go tell her about how Morgan Stanley is now recommending our company and picked us up as a client. Because everybody that I introduce us to usually says what the very first words out of their mouth is this one of those pyramid You're thingies. Very skinny thingies. It's so I'm gonna, one of those get rich quick, quick schemes. schemes. Exactly. exactly. Okay, so hey, I am going to allow Sue, uh, Stranger. Stranger. I'm going to go introduce her and kind of explain to her, but I want to invite you right now. The person that is posting you this video or that posted this or emailed you this. You need to reach out to them as soon as possible and let them explain to you exactly what's happening with Plexus. This thing is happening. Uh, the people that listen are making other people get healthier than they've ever been, and they're being compensated beyond their wildest dreams. We have a team of people that are experiencing and climbing the ranks just like us. This has nothing to do with us. This has to do with a product that is transforming and changing people's lives. So. A lot of times we get goofy because we want your attention. I want you to pay attention to what's happening. I just simply want you to do it. So 
We're doing it one more time. Here we you go. You have my attention, stranger. You okay. really have my attention. I'm going to talk with this stranger and discuss Do with them. Do you think it would be too good to be true if we showed them right now where we're at? Or you're, where you're at working? Stranger. stranger. Where are you okay. at working? We're working on the beach. I think that seems too good to be true. It's probably too good to be true. We probably can't do all this from the beach. Probably yes, not. It is. This is okay. happening right now. So we're asking hey, stranger, you right now. You come on. Let's go on a walk. On the Let's beach. go on a walk. Tell beach. me more about 